my mind says it's not. Come, Master. We will have fish, venison, and spiced wine. I'd like to wait until we have a guest to dine with us. A wealthy guest? <laughs> of course. A guest who can pay for the best. Stay in warm, Master. I will go with Much and Will Scarlet. Fine for the guest. I shall have a banquet waiting. Little John, Much, and Will Scarlet grabbed their bows and arrows and left the forest in search of a wealthy guest. Bring him back to dine with us. If appearances deceive, we will all be richer before long. If not, this man needs a good meal and his horse a good rest. Little John stepped up from behind the tree and grabbed the knight's horse by the bridle. Who are you? What do you wish for me? <coughs> Welcome to the Sherwood and greetings from my master. Who is your master? Robin Hood. I have heard much about Robin Hood. Well, now you shall get to dine with him tonight in the Sherwood Forest. Little John began to lead Sir Richard by the horse into the forest. Wait! I have a poor guest, poor and warm goods, and poor spirits. That is no matter. Besides, you and a horse are cold and wet. You must also be hungry. Robin Hood will generously be the horse and rider. But the matter is settled. Sir Richard hung his head as Little John, much and little scarlet, led him deeper and deeper into the Sherwood Forest. A short while later, entered the green retreat. Robin Hood stood to greet his men and his guests. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. Come, the feast is spread. My men will take care of your horse. I'm Sir Richard of Lee. You must drop the host. You have heard of me? Yes. Some call me a good fellow, some call me a thief. Well, you're now to call you Robin Hood. That is true enough. Now come dine with me. Robin Hood, Sir Richard, and Robin's men feasted on roast venison, eels boiled into oil, and roast pork. For dessert, they had cheese, nuts, apples, plums, and peaches. They washed all down with spiced wine. Sir Richard smiled at Robin Hood when he finished. Thank you, sir. I'm not eating so well for a long time. I'm glad you enjoyed it, for it is our custom here to make our guests pay for the meal. Now, Sir Richard, please tell me what money you have about you. I should not be ashamed, but I am. I tell you the truth. I have but two shillings, and that's all the money uh, that Sir Richard has, of the has in the world. By the way, little John had best have a look. All the same. Robin Hood nodded at little John, who stood to perform this familiar ritual. Checked their guest's purse, cloak pockets, and saddle bags. Ten shillings is all he found. You're an honest knight, but how did you become so poor? Have you no land, castle, or cattle? A year ago, I had but ill luck befall me. Perhaps I can help you. Will you tell me more? I have a son, he's just one years old. Last year, he accidentally killed a man in a joust. It was not his fault, but the man he had killed had been very powerful. His kinsmen had my son going to jail. He's in jail. I paid all the money that I had to ransom him, but the sheriff said it was not enough. I needed 400 pounds more. What did you do? I went to St. Mary's Abbey in York. I knew the abbey was there. Hey, man, ungodly greedy and proud. Yes, but the abbey swims in gold. Did the abbey give you the money? Is your son free? Yes, yes, but... Go on. The abbey's turned real hard. She gave me a year to pay my debt. Or he'll seize my castle, my lands, and my cattle. the St. Mary's Abbey, your men stopped me. I was, I was on the way to beg for a few months' grace, but I fear I shall not win it. You never will. I know that Abbot will. He doesn't have a kind bone in his body. Have you no principle of help? I, while I was rich, I had, I had many friends, but no more. I have no friends. Many a fine 
Sir Richard set off on the long journey to York 